Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of a product made by a company called Tenergy. This is an intelligent battery charger, model TN456, and you can see it shows the various batteries that will charge. I'm going to be uh, testing this with five different types of batteries, and we'll see how it uh, operates. Open the box up here. In the back it has some uh, instructions on its use and some of the specifications, the ranges of batteries it tests. Opening it up, we got the uh, little couple of pages of a uh, operational manual. And this has an included AC adapter and the charger itself. Wrapped nicely in bubble wrap to protect it. So let's take the charger out right here and look at it. And let's remove the charger. AC adapter, I'm sorry. So here's the included AC adapter. So you got the four ports right here. Got a current switch display mode and the ports themselves that are all spring loaded. And usually this has the negative and that's the positive right there. So let's power this thing up and let's try some batteries on here. What I'm going to be trying, I'll try one at a time. We'll see how this thing operates. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the charger, I'm, I'm sorry, the AC adapter into a kilowatt meter and I can look at the performance and on the back of this unit you can see it has the DC in 12 volts and also has something out 5 volt 1 amp and that looks like a USB port so that you can charge your cell phones on it. That's nice. A lot of them don't have that. So let's plug that right in right there and you see it uh, powers up and it says null because there's nothing hooked up to it. I mentioned earlier that there's a uh, USB port on this device on the back. So let's uh, try that out here. I've got a uh, USB cable and I'm going to see if it charges a, uh, another device which is an LED work light. So I plugged it in and you can see that it is charging this work light. So that's a nice little added feature so that you have the ability to charge a USB device like your cell phone or in this case an LED work light. I'm going to show you the basic operation here. I'm going to be testing all different chemistries First one is lithium ion, the typical 18650. This is 3000 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt. You put the negative there. And when you first place it on there, it's going to blink charge and it shows you the voltage and the default milliamp hours that's going to charge it. If you don't hit any of the buttons, that's what it's going to charge it as at. And when you hit the display, you can get the various uh, functions. That's the milliamp hours that's going into it right there. It's at one. And that's the time in hours. And of course, it's zero because we just started. And that's the internal resistance, which is 100 milliohms. And that's the, the current voltage, which is 4.18 and uh, this battery is almost charged already. To change the charging current, you hit the button right there, and that goes into mode, then we can go to current, and 300, then it's 500, 700, and 1,000. And if you wait a couple seconds, it will then start charging at that new rate that we chose of 1,000, there it goes. And again, you hit the display, you have the internal resistance, the voltage, and now it's charging at a thousand milliamp hours. 
Now let's try some different batteries here. See how this thing works with different chemistries. Okay, let's try a different size battery. This is another lithium ion battery. It's a smaller dimension and capacity. This is this is an 18350. So you can see right away it has the 3.97 volts. And 300 milliamps is the default current, and it's going to start charging at 300 milliamps. And then, of course, you hit the display, and you have the milliamp hours, the time, the internal resistance, and the charging voltage is displayed. And when this is complete, it will say full. Let's try another chemistry here, or another battery. Let's try. A smaller size different. This is a 14500. Let's try it on this port right here. Place the battery in there and it goes to 3.99 volts and it's defaulting again to the 300 milliamps charge. And uh, so we hit the display and we could see the time zero, the internal resistance, 120 milliohms, and the voltage of 4.11 as it's charging, and it's set to 300 milliamps. Now, if I wanted to uh, change that operating current, I would hit the number four, and it starts blinking, and then I could change the current to 500, 700, or 1,000, and back to 300 again. And again, it'll hit a button and it'll stop blinking and then it's charging at that mode. Now let's try a different chemistry this time. We're gonna try a older technology. This is a Sony nickel metal hydrate battery. Let's try that in this one right here. So what we get. Okay, the display has changed and it's showing 1.3 volts and 300 milliamp hours is the default current going in there. And if you hit the display button, you get the hours and this is 101 milliohms internal resistance, 1.34 volts. Of course, it's lower than the lithium ion, which it should be. And there's the 300 milliamps. So if we want to change that current again, Hit that button while it's blinking, and now we can cycle through the higher values of current. So we just wait at a thousand, and once it stops blinking, it's now setting a thousand milliamps to the battery. Hit the display, and we have three milliamps that have gone in the battery so far. The timer is still at zero, 101 milliohms in terms of resistance, 1.36 volts. So it's very functional. Now we're going to try another battery. We're going to try one of the newer nickel metal hydride batteries. These are called the uh, Entelope batteries. And they're made by Panasonic now. Panasonic bought uh, Sanyo out recently. So let's try that battery here and see what happens on the display. And there you go. We got uh, 300 milliamps is the default current that's coming on. And there it goes, it's not charging at 300 milliamps. And uh, there's no current in it yet, so we just started. And it has 120 milliohms resistance. And 1.32 is the voltage right now. Now if you get to change the current, hit the number two, that's where the battery is, it's blinking. Go to the current, we can go to 500, 700, or 1000. And then wait a couple seconds, it'll stop blinking. 
and there we go now it's putting a thousand milliamps in there you can cycle through there's a milliamp hours in the battery time 120 milliohms resistance 1.34 volts so you can see it worked with all the batteries all the chargeable batteries that I own now let's just try the uh, one mode here which is the test mode now when you first put the battery in there it goes into the normal charge mode so I'm going to hit this button right there hope you can see that display and I'm going to go through the different modes and you can see there's charge and then there's charge test so I'm going to set the current to 500 milliamp hours and I'm going to have a charge test in there so let's let that start and there it stopped blinking so now it's starting and what this is going to do it has essentially three modes it is going to charge at the setting that I set right there and then it's going to discharge at 500 milliamp hours and then it's going to recharge it again at uh, whatever setting I have it charged at in this case is the 500 milliamp hours is going to charge so it allows you to cycle your battery and cycling batteries are good sometimes it uh, brings them back to life and that's a nice option you have under the test function so I just ran a uh, charging experiment using the test mode if you look on the display right here it shows test and what it did is it ch charged the battery and then it uh, did a discharge of the battery at 500 milliamp hours and then um, that's stage two then the stage three it uh, charged it at a uh, thousand milliamp hours and you could see it completed and it shows that the battery is full and put 209 milliamp in the battery then in 30 minutes Internal resistance, 114, and it's, it's full now. So that's a way to cycle your batteries, and that's a nice feature that it has. So what's my overall opinion about this Tenergy TN456 Intelligent Battery Charger? Well, obviously I like it. I tried all the functions on here, and everything works. The display is nice. The camera's not picking it up, but it's very easy to see the display. The fact that you could charge four batteries of totally different chemistries at the same time is going to save you a lot of time and effort with all your batteries for all the devices you use. The included uh, USB port on there is nice. The included AC adapter is great. This thing was running cool. I had four batteries going on there. I really like this product. I think it's a great value. And I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating on my channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.